So I was watching Tim Burton's 1989 Batman film with Jack Nicholson as the Joker, and I decided to compare Heath Ledger's Joker to Jack Nicholson's Joker. So first of all, let's describe the tone of both films. The tone for Tim Burton's Batman is darker, which I believe started Christopher Nolan's darker, more realistic take of Batman. But Tim Burton still kept his tone fairly comic-ish. You know, Batman still had his gadgets and his Batmobile, but they're more on the comic-styled side, more than a realistic. Nolan's tone of his rendition of Batman is more realistic. It plays the what if. What if Batman was today? What if Batman was in the modern city right now as a billionaire? What would that actually look like? Never mind the comic side of it, but what is it realistically? And he did a good job of representing that, although, I mean, come on. The voice of Batman being all, I'm Batman. It's like, what happened to you, Batman? Did your vocal cords get attacked by a cheese grater? I mean, you're a billionaire? Get a voice modulator, you know? Have it scramble your voice for you so you don't have to put that much strain on your vocal cords. That's got to be heck during meetings. <laughs> Jack Nicholson's Joker uh, was, I think, closer to the actual Joker's personality in the comic. Uh, the Joker's supposed to be highly mentally unstable and unpredictable. Both actors did a great job on that, don't get me wrong. But the Joker, however, is supposed to be funny. Not quite like telling you you're you know, the funniest joke in the world or any Monty Python type stuff, but he laughs at his own random things and just he seriously enjoys life. For example, let's take in the Tim Burton's Batman, the Joker just electrocuted a, a guy and, and during a meeting, and everyone in that meeting left. So he was sitting there, talking to the dead body, saying, you know, I think I should give these, gu these guys more time to really consider what I was saying. No, no, you don't agree with me? What, what's that you're saying? I should kill them? You are a cruel man. I'm glad you're dead. And then he starts laughing at this. And I think that is closer to the actual Joker's personality. You know, he takes joy in random things and he's silly, I guess would be the best word to describe it. He's also very psychopathic. Uh, not as psychopathic as I think the Joker should be. Heath Ledger did a great job on showing that. But Jack Nicholson's was, overall, I think, a better representation of the Joker. The only thing I didn't like was the Joker's backstory in that Tim Burton's Batman was defined. You know, he found about a chemical, that's how he became the Joker. End of story. In the comic, it wasn't like that. The Joker's backstory was undefined. Heath Ledger's Joker was close to the comic in the sense that he was psychopathic like hardcore psychopathic, and he had an obsession for the Batman. Uh, everything he did was towards the Batman, trying to kill him, trying to capture him, trying to do this, always focusing on Batman. He had ulterior motives, but he was really obsessed with Batman, and Heath Ledger did a great job representing that. Jack Nicholson, however, wasn't so obsessed with Batman. Another thing Heath Ledger did was the backstory wasn't defined. Granted, that's more of the directors than the actors, but it does play on it. He, I mean, in the Batman movie, he his backstory kept changing. He kept changing it two or three times. First it was his father, then it was his wife, you know. He just kept changing it. <clears throat> Overall, both actors did a great job in the role of the Joker, according to each tone of the movie. Um, however, I do think Jack Nicholson's portrayal of the Joker was closer to the actual Joker in the comic, just because, I mean, he was funny, he was silly, he was still psychotic, but he enjoyed life, which in the comic, the Joker, you know, laughs at the most randomest things, and he's really enjoying life, and he's not as intense as Heath Ledger was. But overall, each actor did a great job. I'm not even heard Heath Ledger was supposed to get awards had he not tragically passed away. Guys, that's it for me you know, for my first vlog. Uh, let me know what you think. Please give me some real feedback. None of this 
you know, you're ugly, you suck, you're going bald, you're only 20 years old, are you follically impaired, you know, all that stuff. But real stuff like, you know, I think you missed this point and this point in your talk. You know, I value that feedback. So, yeah, leave your comments down below, and I shall see thee later. Au revoir.